Putting your tour descriptions through this kind of transformation is like adding jet fuel to your business. You're going to drive up sales, you're going to drive up profits, and you're gonna be blown away by how much this stuff works. Hi there, Kelsey Tony here from Guest Focus, and welcome back to our series on creating tour descriptions that sell. In this video, we're going to talk about bonuses and extras and how you can use them on your tour sales pages to differentiate yourself from your competitors, create fear of missing out, and go that extra mile with your ideal target guests. We're then going to cover four topics very briefly, but they're all related to continually improving the conversion rate of your sales pages. They are chats, messaging on your sales page, shopping cart, and page abandonment, Google Analytics, and finally, A-B tests. We're gonna bring it all together and showcase what a highly optimized tour page looks like. Let's get after it. So here's what we mean by bonuses and extra. These are things that your potential customers will receive only when they complete the booking process. Ultimately, we are value stacking. You're adding things to the initial offer to make it more compelling to make it more irresistible to your ideal target guests. These bonuses can take many forms. It could be something as simple as a coupon or voucher for a favorite local restaurant. It might be the fact that you upload photos of your guests afterwards to a shared folder where they can get some of those images. It might be a walking tour that you've created. It might be a guide to the best neighborhoods to stay in. It doesn't ultimately matter the form it takes. It simply must be true that the only way for the customer to get these extras is if they make a booking with you. Let's have a look at a couple tour companies around the web who are doing this well. Here is a beautiful cookbook from Devour Tours, recipes from the Devour Tours kitchen. They had their guides submit some of their favorite recipes from all of their food tours across Europe. Right now, and through the pandemic, they sold this as a standalone product. But talk about a fantastic value add. If you book and come on a Devour Tour, you get a free digital copy of this Recipes from the Devour Tours kitchen cookbook, but only if you book a tour. Down in Asheville, North Carolina is Asheville Wellness Tours. And she put together this free Asheville trip planning guide. Now, right now, she's using it to collect email addresses from potential customers. But imagine something similar on one of your tour pages. Could you create a trip planning guide for your destination? And could you give it away, a free copy, if somebody made a booking with you? Well, of course you could. We love how Bulldog Tours offers this five Charleston-made gifts that you'll want to take home. Essentially, it's a guide to the best souvenirs to get while you're in Charleston. Could that be a bonus that you give away with your tour? I think that's a great idea. Bulldog also put together these seven must-try menu items in Charleston right now. They are selling food tours. The people who are coming on their food tours, well, they're interested in Southern cuisine. And this type of guide would be a great bonus. But instead of asking for the email, we're only gonna give it to them when they book a tour. My recommendation would be to keep things simple and try to aim for something that can be digitized, i.e. a PDF, a document, something that can be sent via a link, and then we can simply include that link in our booking software confirmation email. It's automated, it's running on autopilot, and you don't have to think about it. Now for these bonuses to be really effective, we don't want these things to be nice to have. We want them to be irresistible to your ideal target guests. And so that means having a pretty deep understanding of some of their pain points, frustrations, and dream scenarios, needs, wants, etc. Again, that's where that guest deep dive will continue to deliver value for you. Let's run through a quick example. I'm a young Canadian family. I'm going down to Cancun, Mexico, and I want to bring my family and have the best holiday possible. You were on this fantastic half-day tour from Cancun out to uh, Cenote, these beautiful waterfall, you know, swimming holes in the jungle. So I'm on your tour page, I'm your ideal target customer, and I see that if I make a booking with you, you'll also receive the three following items. One, the ultimate Cancun planning guide for families where we'll go through which resorts have the best kid-friendly activities and how to get the best deals. That is fantastic. That is hitting my pain points, isn't it? Well, where am I gonna stay? Gosh, where are the kids gonna be happiest? That planning guide has a lot of value to me. 
Secondly, you're going to give me a restaurant coupon book. Here are our top 10 favorite family-friendly restaurants here in Cancun that you know get beyond the chicken figures. At these family-friendly restaurants, in this coupon book, you'll save up to a thousand dollars. You know, maybe you get a hundred dollars off here, a hundred dollars off here. You can build these coupon books quite easily. Well, that's pretty darn good too. And item number three will be a scavenger hunt for Chichen Itza. If your travels include getting out to those beautiful temples at Chichen Itza, we've put together a free scavenger hunt perfect for kids aged three to 10 to help keep them entertained as you enjoy these incredible Mayan ruins. Bang, bang, and bang. Do you see how that value stack is not only differentiating your tour from some of the others that I might be considering, but you're making this value irresistible. That's what an effective bonus can do for your tour page. Okay, let's talk about those four remaining items that aren't really essential parts of the tour description, but can help you increase your sales. And the first is having that little chat widget or a direct message widget on your sales page. The data is in and these chat widgets can really increase conversion rate. And it has to do with something that you probably already know, that response time means a lot to potential customers. If you send out an inquiry to two or three different tour companies or have questions, the ones that respond the fastest tend to get the bookings. So if you can implement a chat widget on your website, they typically work in two ways. One, you flip it on when somebody is manning the chat, meaning someone in your office or potentially you, if you're at your computer, you can turn on the chat so you can directly message back and forth with a potential customer. The nice thing about those little chat icons is that when you turn it off, the chat icon will still be there, but instead it turns into an email inquiry. It still looks like a chat, but it simply says, hey, we're tied up right now, enter your question and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But what's nice about it is it's a quick button. It's super common across the web right now and many people now expect it when on your sales pages. Let's have a look at a couple in action. Here on this tour operator website, Fishing Trips in Florida, we see the little chat icon in the bottom right. And when it's clicked, this little widget pops up where we can start a chat. This one happens to be powered by Facebook Messenger. And there are many different options out there from WhatsApp to paid for services like Podium or free chat bots like Talk, T-A-W-K. Let's have a look at a couple more. Here in River Tubing Day Trip from New York City, we see the chatbot down in the bottom right. By zooming in, I can see that this is not an active live chat, but has switched over to the send a message. So I can put my name, subject, email address, and how can we help? And in here it says, we usually respond in a few hours. Check out this implementation from Arkansas River Tours. Down in the bottom, they have a widget that is actually a chat bot where I have a few options where I could check availability, I could see hours of operations, I could send a message. This is getting to a whole nother level where we're pre-programming in answers to some of the most commonly asked questions. And some companies like Thomas, T-O-M-I-S, as we can see, this chatbot is powered by Thomas. You could actually make a booking directly from within this chat area. Let's not confuse chat bots with the simple direct messaging platforms. We recommend getting started with a free chat plugin. And even if you don't have anybody who's gonna be responding in real time, it's something that's gonna help you increase conversion rates, get a simple way for customers to get a question answered. The third item is shopping cart abandonment. Now, depending on which booking software you use, there's a good chance that they'll either use shopping cart abandonment or not, depending on their checkout flow. Some companies prefer not to ask for an email until the last step. That makes shopping cart abandonment pretty difficult to implement. For others like Peak, who collect an email address as a first step, you can more easily set up shopping cart abandonment with your booking software. And what it means is if somebody puts in their email but doesn't ultimately proceed to that booking, you can send an automated email, potentially even with a coupon or extra incentive to have them come back and finish checking out. Some companies also install exit intent pop-ups on their tour sales page. 
So if someone's visiting on a desktop and they start to move their mouse cursor up towards the back button or to the menu bar, the pop-up can trigger and it can have uh, maybe a, a little discount code or extra incentive to stick around and finish making your booking. Now, because exit and temp pop-ups only work on desktop because there's no indicator on a mobile phone, they've fallen out of fashion, but they can still be pretty effective, especially if a lot of your ideal target guests are booking on desktop computers. The next item on our list is Google Analytics. Now, that's a huge topic and beyond the scope of this video series, but simply know that if you're in e-commerce, you gotta set up Google Analytics across the whole website, but especially on these, the most important pages on your website, the tour sales pages. Google Analytics is where you're going to get information about who is visiting your website, where they're coming from, and their behavior when they're on the website. You can have somebody else set this up. There's a good chance if you have a website, it is already set up and will be set up on any new tour pages that you create. Another great tool is something called Hotjar. Uh, there's a few other alternatives. Uh, I think Crazy Egg is another one, but these essentially are heat maps and they'll show both on a mobile visitor and for a desktop visitor, what people are clicking on, where they're scrolling, where they're spending most time. This can provide some really compelling and interesting information as you rearrange these different elements on your sales page. The goal with tools like Google Analytics and Hotjar is to increase and improve your conversion rate over time, i.e. the number of bookings that get made for number of visitors. This is called conversion rate optimization. And one of the main tools for improving your tour descriptions and improving that conversion rate through time is the last topic for today, A-B testing. A-B testing, simply put, is when visitors come to the website, they're shown one of two versions of the page. So 50% of the traffic goes to version A and 50% of the traffic goes to version B. You then measure different outcomes, usually in the case of a tour and activity business, the main thing that we'd be tracking is bookings. So if version A of your tour description leads to more bookings, then ultimately we go with version A. We would then make a new test. Hey, let's move the book now button. Let's change something significant and then do that test again. Now there's a couple quick things to know about A-B tests. They're a little bit complicated to set up especially if you wanna correctly measure the number of bookings that are coming from that particular page because you have to tie in your booking software. So we recommend getting some help if you want to continue the charge and constantly iterate and improve via A-B tests. The second thing to keep in mind is something called statistical significance. This isn't gonna be a whole course on statistics, but you do need to know that if I run an A-B test and I only have let's say 100 visitors. So 50 people saw this page and 50 people saw this page. Let's say somebody books on version A. With only 100 people, that is not enough to have confidence that version A is the better page. There's still too much possibility of randomness impacting it. So if two people happen to have been shown B that were just ready to book, we might think that B is better. So ultimately to get statistical significance, we need to have a larger sample size, which simply means having lots of visitors and a good number of conversions. A safe bet or a ballpark bet, if you're doing this yourself, will be something like 5,000 visitors to each version of the page. And depending on your size, that might take some time. A-B tests are something that you do over the long haul. For most tour business owners, A-B tests are pretty advanced. And don't worry if you're not at that stage yet. Here is our caveat across all of the best practices that we've shared. If you are running these types of tests and you find that one of our best practices is not doing as well as an alternate version or doing the opposite of what we say, by all means, follow the data. Follow that scientific method of finding out what gets you the most conversions. That's the beauty of conversion rate optimization. And we love slaying sacred cows. We want you to have the most optimized page possible. And if that means doing the opposite of what we say for your particular tours, your particular website, and your particular guests, please, by all means. But for the rest of us, hopefully as we bring this all together, you see that these best practices have been earned and learned over the years by the OTAs as they learned how to more effectively sell tours and activities, by sales masters, people who have been selling years and years and years, who've come up with the terms that we used over this series. Things like social proof, risk reversal, 
guarantees, reasons to act now. These are tried and true best practices when it comes to selling. Our mission with our coaching and this video series was to give you a simple step-by-step -step process that you could follow to increase your sales, to give you the tried and true best practices when it comes to tour sales pages, for creating, crafting, laying out and assembling an effective tour description. Now, these pages sell for you 24 hours a day, and the time and energy that you invest now in improving them will pay dividends day after day, week after week, and year after year. We hope that we've inspired you with examples from around the web and our own coaching members, how you can move from a tour description that is fairly mediocre and looks something like this to a fully optimized tour description that is implementing all of the best practices that we've gone through, that incorporates some of those essential sales methodologies and those essential sales elements. Whether it's more explicitly calling out your guest-focused guarantees or adding the urgency and scarcity to help drive people to make their decision today while they're on the page, to using testimonials, social proof, credibility indicators, and using those frequently asked questions to overcome objections. Putting your tour descriptions through this kind of transformation is like adding jet fuel to your business. You're going to drive up sales, you're going to drive up profits, and you're going to be blown away by how much this stuff works. If that happens for you, if you take the time, implement what we've showed you, and you get those results, shoot us a note and let us know. We love hearing those kinds of success stories. If you haven't got the free workbook that goes along with this video series, you can grab it over at guestfocus.com forward slash tour descriptions. Have a go through that workbook. It'll help you implement everything we've covered here in these videos. Now, if you found this series helpful and you like the way that we broke everything down step by step and hopefully inspired you with examples from successful tour operators around the world and you want to say thanks, one of the kindest gestures that you could do for us is to simply share this with some of your colleagues, with your friends in social media groups. We are putting this out into the world and every share or recommendation means a lot to us because we know how powerful word of mouth is and we would appreciate any efforts at all. Here on YouTube, you could subscribe, like, leave a comment below, ring that notification bell if you want more content like this. And if you enjoyed this type of coaching and getting to work on your tour or activity business with step-by-step -step instructions, with templates, swipe copy, and done-for-you resources, as well as examples from tour and activity businesses around the world, as well as experienced coaches to help guide the way, then you would probably really love our Guest Focus Tour Business Coaching Program. You can learn more at guestfocus.com. For a limited time, you also have the opportunity to hop on a call with one of our coaches. This is something new we're trying. And if you're curious about who our tour business coaches are, or you wanna know more about the Guest Focus formula, I've got one final invitation for you. Every month, myself and the coaching team set aside time to do free 45 minute one-to-one -one strategy call with tour business owners. These calls are first come, first served. Because of our small team, we only have a limited number that we can offer. During this call, we'll go through your tour business goals. We'll try and identify some of the things that are holding you back, maybe some of the obstacles that you're facing. And we'll come up with an action plan with two to three items that you can take with and run with. We'll also share with you our blueprint for building a thriving, profitable tour business. As I said, these are limited in number, but if you're interested in talking with myself or one of our tour business coaches, head over to guestfocus.com forward slash book a call. Like I said, it's first come first served and there's not a lot of these each month. So head over there now if you'd like to talk to a coach for a free 45 minute one-to-one -one strategy call. Thanks so much for tuning in for this entire series. This is just the tip of the iceberg. It has been an absolute pleasure having you here and I look forward to serving you again soon.